Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Luke Ness Monster, and welcome back to our ATST 3D printing series. If you guys didn't know, this is the series on the channel where we are 3D printing a Black Series Scale ATST. This is actually part two of three, so if you didn't miss part one, make sure you go back and check that one out first. It'll be pinned in the card and linked in the description. And uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Alrighty guys, so we actually did get this thermal runaway error, and I've gotten it a few times. And in the past, this means that there is a problem with some of the equipment. And normally it's the thermometer that reads the temperature of the nozzle, and that's normally the problem. So we do have a few spares. We're gonna go ahead and swap it out. We do have our spares right here. And we're gonna have to go ahead and take this cover off. Oh, come on, it's... Okay, well first, we're gonna go ahead and get this off the bed because it's like fused to the bed. I do have an Allen wrench that fits, but it's on this really crappy Allen wrench thing and it makes it really hard to get this off. So we're gonna try our best, but it might take a few minutes. Okay, so we did get the cover off and the thermometer. It's kind of hard to see, but it's actually under this screw right here. And I'm gonna try to get a better angle for you guys, but it is quite hard. But as you can see, these little uh, white, I guess kind of clear cables right here are the thermometer. To get it off, we do have to unscrew the screw. Okay, so I'm having problems with the screw. It's on very, very tight. And if I had to guess, that's because some plastic got in underneath the screw and pretty much cemented the screw to the, the actual heating block here. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up and hopefully that melts the plastic underneath, giving me the ability to unscrew it. That's the goal, we will have to see. But yeah, definitely why this thing is hot, you never wanna to touch it. I just wanna be clear with that. So like, it's not heated up right now, so I can touch it. But if it was heated up, it would be like 200 degrees Celsius and very hot. And uh, we also do have this like mesh kind of cover that goes over the wire. And uh, I've bunched it up so I could actually tape these wires on because I have had to replace the heating block here. But um, because of that, this kind of pushes and it kind of messes with these tape here on the wires. So I'm thinking about kind of just cutting off this mesh piece here. I don't think it'll be a big problem. And uh, if anything, it'll solve some of my problems. So I might, end up, I might end up doing that. But real quick, we actually did already get uh, the thermistor out. That's the old one right there. And so now we got to get the new one attached. Okay, so we do have the new thermometer here. And uh, biggest thing is, of course, you can see that this is how it plugs in. And as you could tell, I actually just had to cut the wires. So I will have to cut the wires down here a little bit and then reattach it that way rather than plugging it in. Um, that's just how it works. So yeah. And of course, here's a side by side of the old and the new one. You can definitely tell that, yeah, it's about time to get this thing replaced. So let's go ahead and get that installed. Okay, so we did get the new one uh, stripped here. Let's go ahead and get it all attached. Okay, so to reattach it, all you really have to do is stick the little glass knob right in uh, the hole there. And then you screw the screw back in. Okay, so we got everything all wired up here and uh, we're gonna test it out. It's about to start printing, so hopefully it does As all right. As you can see on the screen here, it does show the temperature of the nozzle. That's what the bottom number is, which means that the new one is uh, wired up and working, so. Fingers crossed. It's got another air when it's heating, but this time instead of thermal runaway, it's a heating failed air, which is actually these red wires. So which makes me think that these came undone in my tape. So I'm gonna check the tape real quick if that came undone. If it didn't come undone, then what I'm thinking I'll have to do is I'll have to replace this whole uh, heating apparatus, which I do have a few extra, but it's uh, a pain. Alrighty, so we did get the tape off of those wires there. And those are live wires, I did take the tape off. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this started back up and uh, see that, now that we can see that the wires are connected, if it does have the heating failed, then I know I'll have to replace that. But if it doesn't, then I know that this will work and I can just continue printing, but. So we did go ahead and remove the heating cylinder right out of the side here. It kind of just slides into the side like that. This does seem to be the problem, so we're gonna go ahead and replace that as well. Alrighty, so after some trial and error, we finally got it back and running. It's been going for a little over an hour and it's looking good. Uh, after replacing the heating block, I did have some problems with uh, the plastic actually just not coming out. And I did find out the problem was that uh, this little thing here was on backwards to where there's a little washer kind of like 
in between the screw and this little thing that's right here. And I accidentally put the washer on the bottom rather than the top of the thing there. And basically what this does, if I can point at it correctly, this holds, uh, pushes that little spool of plastic right into this gear. This gear pushes the plastic through the machine. And pretty much the problem was that uh, this wasn't pushing up against the plastic, so the plastic wasn't pushing out. But we did end up fixing that, so there we go. Alrighty, so now we are going to try and assemble this ATST. So we actually already do have a screw in here, and the nut did go down and through the bottom here. So this one here is attached together. Next up are these two pieces here. I believe they go on like so, right onto that right there. And so uh, first step is we actually have to put pins in these little holes here. So we do have the pins right here. One pin can go in there. Other can go in right there. And I guess that's just to kind of line it up. And then we will pull uh, push the pins together once we get it all lined up. Real quick though, there is a little place for a nut right here. So we are gonna go ahead and put the nut in. Push these pins together. Let's hope this goes together, all right. Oh, well the pins went together, but the nut went flying out. So I gotta find that nut now. But yeah, went together pretty nice. Alrighty, so we do have the nut in here. Now we just have to put the screw in and uh, screw that in pretty much. So I did actually run into a little bit of a problem. I believe it is on this one. This here is the screw. So you actually do put the screw through here and you pretty much tighten it down to this other piece. But the problem, the screw is the same size as the hole so it can't tighten down. So to solve that, I got a washer. That should fix the problem. We will see though. See, cause now you can't pull it through. So I'm hoping that that'll fix the problem. We will see. Alrighty, so that washer did seem to do the trick. It is now pretty sturdy. It's a little back heavy. So once I add some more parts to the top here, it should be fine. But there is a cover I do need to add. And that is of course this cover right here. It does just, I lied, it's not that cover, it's this cover. I wasn't sure which one it was, but that one goes right on there and then it covers up the screw hole. It's a little loose, but uh, it'll get the job done. Alrighty, so next up, we do have to get attached the next piece on. Not a good way to set this, but we're gonna set this right here. Next two pieces are these two. They go together like so, and it should screw on right like this. So let's go ahead and do that, if I don't knock it over. So we did finish screwing that one in, and there we go. It even stands up now, that's pretty cool. The next piece is actually a lot simpler, which I do like. And I do believe that this is the next piece that just kind of goes on right here. And then there is a little nut hole there that we put the nut into. And uh, there we go, 23 hours later, the print is done. It's very stuck to the bed, so I gotta heat the bed back up to melt the glue. But uh, yeah, finally this piece is done. Now we can assemble the legs and attach it to this, which is pretty cool. Anyway guys, so we do have the first leg all built here. We're gonna go ahead and put together the second leg right now. So we did get both the legs all up together. Now it's time to get the pieces of the main body assembled. Unfortunately, this part did print with supports underneath, and so I did have to cut this piece off on this side to get rid of the supports. And that part looks really bad, so I'm trying to figure out a way to fix that, but until then, this is gonna have to do. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get some of the main body assembled. Alrighty, so we did get these pieces bolted to this frame, and we also got this piece bolted to the frame. So now, the cover just goes right on top. Let's go ahead and put it on. But uh, first I am actually going to screw this to the legs just so in case if there's any troubles, I can get access to these screws if I now need Now we just to. got, alrighty, so we got the body assembled. Now we just got to attach it to the legs. That way it's hard to do with only one hand, but yeah, the legs will clip on to the little thing on each side and uh, bolt in from there. So then after that, we only got the head.
pretty excited. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna do it for part two. There's still one more part left and it comes together quite nicely. So I cannot wait to show you guys. Make sure to stick around because that one will be out a week from today next week so uh yeah really excited to show you guys because i am filming this after the fact and the atsc did come out amazing so yeah cannot wait to show you guys make sure to stick around for next week's video anyway that's gonna do it and i'll see you guys in the next video